Yo dudes, what's up? Um, so this is just a continuation video, uh, three parts, basically I didn't have enough time to uh, make, you know, there was not enough time allocated to make one video, they only give you a 10 minute time limit here on uh, YouTube and uh, basically uh, I split up one video that was 22 minutes long into three different videos, there's a part one, part two, and part three, logic basic orientation which deals with um, uh, basic track creation software instruments, some effects, and some mastering effects. This is the third part, mastering effects. Hope you guys like it, and um, hit me up, all right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the um, to output one and two, which is the main output before the master output, where all these instruments are currently um, rooted to, just by default. They're all going to output one and two. And I'm going to show you some of the mastering effects that are built in to kind of make the same track we were just listening to, a little bit punchier and louder. A lot of you guys like to really limit your stuff and make it really, really loud. So um, here's the easy way to do it. You go to the output one and two channel, which on any one of these tracks, when you click on them, their channel strip is the left one over here. But right next to that is the corresponding output. So this is the output for one and two. Go to the top here, hit setting. Now this will correspond to anything that's coming out of one and two. Hit setting, hold it down. If you go down, you'll see uh, 01, 02, and 03. 02 is mastering tools, kind of like preset mastering templates. And you know, sometimes you have to really mess with these to find out which ones are going to work for the track that you're working on, because not everything uh, works for for just any any track. But I'm going to go to um, Final Hip Hop Master Wide, and just click that. And now you have all these. Um, mastering tools already inserted. You have multimeter gain, channel EQ, multi multi compressor, um, directional uh, mixer, and the adapter limiter. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to press play and let's see if this, you know how this is feeling. It's definitely louder and crunchier. So that's basically what you would do uh, when you're trying to maximize and limit the overall track. You go to your output where all the tracks are rooted to, which are by default one and two, and uh, you insert you insert on the one and two output on output outputs one and two. You know mastering tools. If you don't want to use mastering tools, you can use individual plugins. Um, for instance, okay, let me undo this. Let me just unclick the mastering uh, the mastering set that I just used actually reset that channel strip and just use a simple um, a simple uh, adaptive limiter to get there you hold down um, insert on the output one and two scroll down the dynamics and you have your compressors your limiters I'm gonna use adaptive limiter adaptive limiter is something that's really good to use on the uh, two channel mix but not something to use as a limiter on individual parts within the uh, sequence because the adaptive limiter has a delay of about a half a second um, maybe less maybe more so it's really used to root the final mix through it has to read it it has to read the incoming wave files in order to uh, limit them properly but you get a much nicer sound alright so let me see default setting we have an add density average limit I'll do a uh, let me just do average limit and see how that sounds. And watch the meters on the uh, on the limiter here. All right, good. They're not going over. Let me see what else we can do. What else can I show you here? Okay, let's go back to the clap. Work a little EQ on there. So I'm going to go over here once I've highlighted the clap channel, and I'm going to hit this EQ box that's in the channel strip twice. Double click it. I'm going to add a little brightness. Roll off some bottom.
All right, cool. Now let me go to the uh, second channel, which is the kick. Solo that. There's a limiter on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that out and put a compressor. So I'm going to actually, before clicking limiter, I'm going to actually just um, bypass it by holding down the Alt button and clicking. And that just grays it out. It bypasses. So Alt, Option, and then left click on anything will basically uh, just bypass it. So now, instead of the limiter, I'm going to open up a compressor. So I'm going to hold down underneath the limiter, under the inserts. Um, I'm going to hold that down, go to dynamics, go to compressor, stereo. And I'm just going to grab a, uh, I'm just going to actually play the default. You can kind of mess with this. There's also a lot of nice presets. Hold down this button, go to drums, kick drum compressor. Yes. Definitely a little bit more thi thicker. Let me unsolo this. And that's it. There you have it. After this, uh, all you got to do is bounce down your mix. Um, make sure you spend a lot of time going through. There's a lot of really useful instruments and effects and uh, EQs, and you should really experiment, but you kind of know where everything is right now. And um, I'm going to continue to bring you more videos to get more in-depth to basically make sure I cover things that I might have missed. I'm sure there's a lot um, as I'm just getting into doing this. This is a new thing for me, but I'm happy to bring it to you. And... Um, I hope you're happy that I am uh, doing this. So anyway, anybody got any suggestions or any comments, please leave me a comment or email me or uh, send me a message, whatever. Um, send me a video. I don't care. Whatever you want. Let me know what else topics you guys are interested in um, within Logic, without, you know, without Logic. I'm also, you know, pretty skilled in a lot of other uh, software, Pro Tools, Cubase, pretty much everything. So anyway. Take care and uh, also make sure to visit my website, www.mrmig.com. Also, my MySpace is www.myspace.com forward slash MRMIG Productions, Mr. Mig Productions. Take care, guys. Peace.